Good afternoon. I'm Hasiel Cordoba, and this is a 69 News netcast. If you weren't watching 69 News at noon, here's a bit of what you missed. A teenager is dead after masked gunmen forced their way into his Chester County home. The teen was shot last night during the home invasion, and police are now looking for suspects. WFMZ's Jackie Ferris has more from North Coventry Township. North Coventry Township Police say they've identified a possible suspect in the deadly home invasion shooting of a 17-year-old. Police are looking for leads on two other suspects, a man and a woman. Police say just before 11:30 Sunday night, they were called to the Ashwood Apartments on Worth Boulevard on a report of shots fired. That's where the 17-year-old male was found inside his apartment. He was transported to Reading Trauma Center where he died from his injuries. And Investigators say the three suspects wore masks and allegedly forced their way into the teenager's home, and that is when the shooting happened. The suspects were later seen running toward a wooded area. Canine units tracked the suspects to a nearby parking lot where police believe the getaway car was parked. The investigation is continuing. Police say this was not a random act. The search continues for a man who police say shot a woman at her home in Montgomery County. Greg Feldman has been on the run since Friday. Police say that's when he went to a home on Long Meadow Drive in Limerick and shot the woman who answered the door. They say Feldman had a relationship with the woman's daughter at some point. The victim was taken to the hospital and Feldman was last seen driving his 2016 black Mazda sedan with license plate KFC 4605. The NTSB is investigating a small plane crash in Montgomery County. It happened near Mead Court in Whitpain Township around 5 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Authorities say the plane took off from nearby Wingsfield Airport and the pilot was the only person on board. The plane crashed into some trees and came dangerously close to a nearby home. Neighbors were able to get to the pilot before emergency responders arrived at the scene. The pilot was flown to a hospital in Philadelphia to be evaluated. The widow of the state trooper who was gunned down by Eric Freen has sued Freen's parents. Tiffany Dixon is the widow of Corporal Brian Dixon. Dixon and another state trooper were shot by Freen in an ambush attack outside their barracks in Pike County in 2014. Her lawsuit alleges that Freen's parents, Eugene and Deborah, manipulated their son into developing a strong dislike for police and then acting on that dislike. Freen was convicted of murder and sentenced to death in April. For more local news, watch 69 News or get updates here at WFMZ.com. With the 69 News netcast, I'm Haciel Cordoba.